Okay, so as we saw in the spreadsheet, we've selected these, the most likely um, sites with uh, the best sort of range of gaugings and possible uh, cross sections for for use for our extension uh, purposes and for uh, this phase two, phase three part of this training. So I'm going to use this uh, as I've demonstrated. I'm using this this site here, and um, you know, you guys have now been allocated these other sites to work on as, as in pairs or in groups, so you can hopefully follow along and do the same. So just what was what I'm saying here is the tidy our files that that I've gone through are these ones here, um, looking for you know any decent ratings and particularly gaugings anyway, all gaugings over time so that we can use. So I'm going to look at this uh, central gaugings file at this stage. So I'll just close that and we'll open Tidydar. So I've been in here before, so central gaugings is in my recent folder here. And this should be the same as the file that I've sent through to you guys. Similar, it's got every site that we're going to look at. Um, and also the one I'm working on here, which has also got some instantaneous, which is the stage data, which I don't think you'll have on yours, but you'll find the stage data in other those other tidy data files if you need to. So just looking at the data we have here, so the stage stage data, this flow, there's the ratings from 68 to 95, and there's there's the gaugings as well. So we can just see them being plotted roughly um, at this stage. So if we just want to have a look at those, so remember when we select this, the first thing we do is we go into select the data for the site. So under under that, because I've been clicking on it over here on the left, it automatically puts it into here. Mm -hmm. So we're selecting the site here, and we're going to look at the ratings. So let's go and look at the, the list of ratings. So if we want to plot them all, we'll go first one here and then through to the last one. So it puts the ratings in here, and if we want to plot all the gaugings on it, we go to stage gaugings and just go all data there so it picks up all the gauging data right through to 2016. So once we've selected that we can hit OK and what we want to do of course is graph the ratings. So we go into here and the first thing I do is I'll, you want to see the gaugings on there so tick this one we want to show the error bars and the default is 8% so that's what we are standard here in New Zealand and you guys as well so make that make sure that's 8% So to use those default error bars and otherwise leave everything as auto min auto max that's for the vertical axis the stage and the horizontal and axis the flow so once you're happy with that if if you're not happy you can go back to check the data yep we're using the flow ratings and we can hit okay and there it's going to plot in different colors all our ratings listed here and all our gauging showing as well under those colors for the for the different rating uh, periods so we can see here that we have two high gaugings which is really good during flood, which I think from memory they're up around about 14, 15, 1600 cumex here. So that's a thousand, that's 2000 cumex. But this rating here has been extended up to, I think that if we, that's in litres, you see it's in litres here. So dividing by three, that is 10,000 cumex at this point, which is very high, which is probably unrealistic. So it's been extended way too high and we're not sure of this direction. So this is what we're trying to achieve with this uh, training. So we really want to define where this rating is actually going. Is it is it indeed flatter, which would mean more flow, or is it a little bit steeper, which is probably my guess, looking at these gaugings the way it comes out of here. So we need to firstly refine the gauging or the rating based on these gaugings the best we can before we then look at where this top end would go, how we how we move this line at the top. So that's the first thing. Um, the other thing to look at too is how far we need to extend this rating curve because we need to cover the, all the stage values. So because we have stage in here, we can go and look at that. So I'm just going to go back to data, select data again. This time, see, we've got our pull down here. We're just going to look at the stage. We're not looking at ratings or gauging. So just stage data. And if we select all the data, so it comes from 1978 through to 2020, then hit OK for that. And then we want to graph Let's do a graph and zoom so we can look at it and just leave it as it defaults. And that's now plotted all our data right from the start of the record, 1978 through to 2020. But you can see there's obviously gaps here, missing record where there's been <coughs> problems at the site, but that's okay. 
but you can see there's a couple of peaks here that are going quite high. So there's 12, uh, 13,000, so that's, that's 13 metres. So that one there, there's 18, that'll be 12 there. So that was nearly at 12. This one here's just on 12 metres. So let's just have a look at this highest peak. So if we zoom up that, bring that into here, maybe we just click on them, right click, zooms out, hit zoom again, click on this bar, bring it in here, click on this bar, bring it into here, and then right click, we'll zoom it back out, and then we can see this is a fairly good hydrograph, it's not a spike, it's, a, it's really following the, the record as it comes up, we can put the points on, so you can see those points being recorded every probably 15 minutes. So that, that's pretty good. So we, we know now that we need to cover a rating just near 12 metres. We're not too sure of the exact height here. So one way to find out exactly what that um, value is, if we save the data here, save the zoom and then exit. And then if we go to table quick extremes and just hit OK, we don't need to go to data because we've already set it when we hit save before. So if we check the data now, it's telling us between 2012 Yep, uh, 1125 through to 2013. So we've set those dates. If we go OK, OK to extremes, it tells us there's our maximum there of 12, just over 12 meters, 12 meters and 23 millimeters. So it pays to write that down. I'm writing that down so I make sure after our rating covers that highest maximum stage. So that therefore, when we produce our flow, we make sure we have flow over that whole period the whole range of, the, of our stage readings. So that's the first thing to do, just check that as our higher point we need to get to in our rating. So before we do any uh, any edits or any changes, we want to copy this this site that you've been allocated. So in my case, it's going to be this one. We'll copy it over to my working directory. So to do that, we need to go, probably the easiest way is just to go move. But though you want to select your data first. So I think the good habit is to go data, select data, and see, I've already been highlighting that, so it's selected the site. So at first, we're going to copy the stage data. In fact, I don't need the stage data because we've looked at it. So let's just go and get the the gaugings. So we'll go and pick up all the gauging data. So if we go all data there, and so we've selected this is the data we're copying at this point. So we go OK. So we're going to move, and we're going to copy series data. We'll do the ratings after this. We'll do the series data first. In this case, we've selected gaugings not ratings at this point, just you can't do both at once. So we're just going to do the series data gauging first, and then we're going to choose which file it goes to. So you can browse for a file, and I'm going to put it, let's have a look, let's go under the FMS training files. Yep, so I've got an even working file here. So if you haven't got a file there already, you can type it in here. So for instance, let's, let me just make that another, I'll just put that a second name in there. So you can either type it in from the start, say there's nothing there, you want the mtd, dot mtd. So I'm going to make this even two underscore working dot mtd. So I've got an even here, but there's a, here's an even two, so it's going to create a new one. So you can just type in whatever name you want, but make it distinctive with the word working or, some, or something that's, you know, different from um, the normal archive files that you see in here and update files. And you can even put it on a different directory if you like. So rather than put it there, let's let me put it on, let's go back out to, let's say there's training files here. So I'm going to put it in this folder here. So and there's a name I've called it down here. And if I go open, let's put it in here as a destination file. So it's going to make a new file called even 2 working and if I go OK, it'll say, this file does not exist. Do you want to create one? Yes. So it's now copied the gauging items. There's four items in this gauging data from 1968 to 2016. So all the gaugings have now been copied to this Evan 2 working. So the next thing I want to do is go and get the rating data. So in this case, I want to do the first and the last. So it puts the first rating in, 66, and the last of 95. So all the, gauge, all the ratings have been selected. Go OK, and then move, copy again, but copy ratings this time. And automatically selects the ratings here. You can check the data again if you need to. Destination file stayed the same because we haven't changed it. Hit OK. 
It's now copied those ratings over to this from this file from central gauging to even to working. And if I want to go into my new file, I just go source, which is the input file equals the destination. Now see it's it's put this foot this it's told us tidied out where we're looking, which is this even two working. You can see it up here. And you can see the one site that I brought across. And all I've brought across is uh, the ratings. There you go, the ratings and the gaugings that we looked at before. So they're all now in this working directory, which we can now edit on this file. So we don't want to edit on those other main update and archive files we always edit on a, on a separate file and then when we're finished we can copy it back to those updated files so that's the first stage get the data have a look at the data work out where you're going and then copy the, the just the site you want to work on over to to a working directory okay so we have a list of, of ratings you can see for site your sites might have more they might have less um, but we want to have a look, let's have a look at the gaugings too. We, as we saw before, there's quite a spread. Some up as far as almost 1,700 QMEX here. So we just want to see how these gaugings look and when they occurred. So obviously there's a big spell here of gaugings being carried out, which is really good. And through these medium flows too here, up to the, uh, the maximums we can see. And then there's really just been lower ones from then on. So I'm looking at maybe this rating that it captures all these which is back I think if we look at the date and time of those gaugings let's go and have a look at those now so if you want to list gaugings rather than just plot them like this there's this option to table list and under there we want to list series data to screen and if we go and check our data we want to make sure we're not looking at the stage data we're looking at the gauging data so make sure gauging is chosen there and Let's look at all of it. So we're going to select all the gauging data. And it's going to list as four items because we have for the site we have stage. Let's have a look at it. So we have stage, stage, flow, area, and velocity. And then the date and time of those gauging measurements. And so you can see the stages and flows here. So that, let's have a look through to where those larger flows. So the first gauging is in like there's one in 68, one in 69. <laughs> 1 in 71, there's not very many gaugings being done here. It gets more and more often now. 79, there's a lot more. Here's some larger ones here. This is 127 QMEX. Remember, this is in litres, so divide by 3. Uh, 206. And I think those larger ones occur... Yes, there's a lot of gaugings in there. 880, now we're getting 1980. We're getting a few around. There's 400. And if we keep going down, remember this is chronological order. Now here we are, here's the two big ones here. So dividing that, this is in litres by three, that's 1,470 uh, QMEX, 1,672 QMEX, which is, is the maximum one. So there's the, the stage at 5.58 metres, and it's nearly 1,700 QMEX, and that was done on 1982, 30th of January. So obviously the big flood came through. You can see on the 29th, they were gauging the day before. They got a 700 and a 500. And the day before that, and then there's nothing for a month later. So there's obviously a big event here which they've gone out and captured all these gaugings. So these are really crucial for our rating development because it's the highest gaugings we have. So I'm going to look at working on the rating that captures these ones. So the rating before uh, 1982, uh, January, 29th of January. So let's come back to our list data select data again and look at our ratings so there's one 1982 yes yeah, so there's one on the 30th of 31st of january oh that's sorry that's 82 so 81 yeah there's one on the 15th of january so if we choose this one on 1981 which will then cover these two uh the this group of really high gaugings here and if we okay that and if we want to plot gaugings from that date, 81, through to currently. So we've selected yeah, the gaugings from that rating till now. And hit OK. And let's graph those ratings again. Make sure we tick that error bars. And we'll just leave it as auto min max. 
And there we go. We can see that now it's only flying from 1981. We're going to leave those earlier ratings off and gaugings because they were higher up. So we don't really want to use those. We want to use these because these are our highest gaugings ever. We'll use this rating forward. So let's just look at the lower end here. So it's just another plot it's blowing up this lower end to say 7,000, 7 meters to maybe 250, 2,500 cumics. So let's just go graph ratings again and we'll uncheck the max and go 7,000. So we cover above the highest gauging here, 7,000, and uncheck the maximum flow as well. Just delete that out of there and we want to put in two and a half thousand QMX. Then okay that you'll get a graph which shows that bottom end a little bit better. So you can see this has a gauging here that's the red 1982 following on. There's some reds down this end. So we're not sure whether these have changed whether it's changed or not. There's a blue one over here as well. There could be problems with the gaugings as well. We don't know if the stage is correct. We haven't got the ability to check those unless you have the gauging card somewhere to check but we're going to run with these blue gaugings through here because they're the highest ones and and they look you know reasonable reasonable as a as a to, to help rate this site so we're going to use this 1981 rating so what i'm saying is try and find which rating uh, fits best with the, the most gaugings or the highest particularly the higher mid to higher gaugings you have at your site and then we'll check that rating to see how it looks and whether it needs any edits. So it needs a bit of a tweak here so it catches these and possibly down the bottom end. So let's just have a look at this. Let's graph this now on its own. So we're going to graph the rating again. Let's turn the gaugings off so we can see it with them off. And data-wise, we're just going to choose the 1981 gauging. So just 1981. So you see the dates here, just 1981 only. Hit OK and then we'll plot that. So you can see it now without the gauging, but there's obviously something not quite right that needs smooth through here. So it's, it's close. It just needs smooth to this point here. Not sure why it starts at 350. Maybe that's the, the control uh, where it goes to, you know, it's very close to zero flow. So we'll leave that as it is because hopefully that's been established. But we'll just smooth this part through here. So let's blow this up even further. Maybe let's go to 3,000 and 500,000. So just so we can see it a bit clearer, and we're going to go to 500,000. There we go. So we can see from here up it's quite nice, but there's a bulge happening in here. So there's some there's a wrong value in here. So we want to edit this rating now to smooth this out. Once we've got the bottom end, we'll check how it fits with those gaugings up further, and then look at doing our extrapolation further on. So let's start with editing this lower end first. So to edit this lower end, let's just put the gaugings on there just to see what's if they're confirming this shape. So let's just um, plot that again. Um, let's plot our gaugings, our ratings this time. We'll just turn the gaugings on. Uh, show error bars. Use that min and just check our data now. We want to go gaugings through to the end of time. So let's put our earlier, um, let's put the next ratings on as well, but you can see how the curves, apart from this green one, which is you know, obviously a little quite a way out, one not that 1985, all the other curves do follow this purple line here, which blends into our rating that we want around these blue gaugings. So, and it sort of does go through the mass of gauging through here. So we do really want to follow this. We just need to smooth this bottom line out we'll take away that kinks and these smooth through here and then blended better here through this because it also forms another a kink back up there so the gaugings are confirming that the ratings there it just really needs smooth in these two two places so let's just turn that back off again and you can see all the gaugings let's just turn those off gaugings off as well back to data so we just want our one and 81 one okay so you can see here it just needs a bit more of a, a smooth through here and flattening through here i think otherwise the gaugings do confirm it so it's, it's fairly close so it's just a, a tweak through there and at this lower end here 
So if you remember, we can list our rating pairs. Remember we used to do that. Under here, there's a list of the rating to the screen. So if we go there and hit OK, we'll see the pairs of gauging points. And these are the ones that we can now edit to smooth that curve out or make adjustments to the either the stage, but usually we just adjust, yeah, either put a new stage in, remove one, or just adjust the uh, flow values to, to, to make that a bit smoother. So your curves may need to do this, they may not, but this is how, if, if it's like this, it needs a bit of a tweak just so we can get it right to start with before we do the extensions. Let's look at that. So to do these edits, we have to write this rating out to a text file, which we can then edit, and then we write it back to tidydr. So we take it out of tidydr to edit, then back in. And to do that, it's back under list again. And this time we list the ratings to a list file. List file. It's just really a text file, list file. And this is this is what it's called down here. So I've chosen one here, which is on our the training file, FMS training, and I've just called it um, at .ed, which is just, a, or you can use a text file, but that just seems to default to .ed and tidydr, and it works fine. So just name it that. You put your name in there, but this is just the site name. So once you've done that, it's listing to file, you can go OK, and it says it's now the output of the file has gone to this .ed. And if we go back, I always go back and graph that once again, and just so it's on the screen. And to do the edit and bring that rating back in, once it's edited, we go Entry, List to Tidydr, Fully Specified, so we use these top options. It brings up this box here, which has... Uh, the .ed file, and then when the destination file, where that edited data, when we edit it here, it'll go back onto our working directory. So I'm just going to pull that down out of the way here, and I'm going to go edit. So it's bringing up a, the peers that we just listed for on the screen. So here we have the stage, <coughs> stage and the flows. We're going to stick with this lower end, because we assume that that's been made for some reason at that point, so that looks fairly reasonable. Um, but this is almost a straight line here, but it needs to really bend over a bit further as it comes in. So these values in here at 5 and 7 and 900 need to be slightly tweaked over. In fact, we probably don't need that many points. Another way you can do it is you can remove points. So we let's, let's keep the 5 and the 9 and let's remove the 7. So just by highlighting that and hitting delete. And we're thinking 500 is... So here's the 500 here. It's, it possibly needs to be slightly less. So it's, so we're curving up this way to meet this curve here, which seems quite reasonable. So we're only tweaking these ones here. So it's only the, looks like the 1200. That's here. That's one, that's 1100, 1200 is okay. So the 900, this one here needs to be less. So it's a little bit of a guess. Um, the other way to do it is to, of course, print this off. Print this off as A4 or A3. So you can hit, hit the print option here. And then you can use your curve to draw a new curve, if you like, or draw this round a bit, draw where this should merge better. And then you can scale off with a ruler and then edit them in here. So one way is to print it off and do it, or graph paper, which we did use, I think, a couple of years ago on the training. Or you can just do, if you're doing minor edits like this, we can just do trial and error. So I'm just going to do it just by guessing, if you like, <laughs> where these points should be. So at 900, stage of 900, it should be less um, less flow. So at 900 at the moment, it's you know 20,000. So I'm just going to make that, say, 18, 18 chemics or 18,000 litres. 1,200 we know is, looks okay. And 500, again, needs to be slightly less. So let's make that maybe 5,000. So we're just guessing those two to, to try and smooth this section here. So once we save that, we can close that, and then that's now our new ed file here. And once we go OK, it writes it back to our working file. The graph disappears because it's now we need to replot a new one. So we go back to graph ratings and just go OK. Uh, we can see that slightly fixed that bottom end there already. It's just a bit smoother now. And now we just need to maybe take this little bump or a little hollow out of this end here so that that you might take several goes to just play around getting that right but that's this is one quick way of doing it just on the screen so here we want to do this 
section here, which looks like there's a point around about two, there's one at two, 1900 is okay, 2-2 two, two is okay, we go to 2-3, then it goes 2-4, and then it goes 2-7, which is this one here. So it could be the fact that we've just got too many points in here as well. So I'm going to go, we don't need that one at 2300 there, let's delete that one out of there. So we're going to go from 19, which we think is okay, 2200 here is possibly okay. It can maybe be with being slightly less. Remember, we're just trying to make this go through our, our rating, our gauging points. So these values don't really matter as long as it matches with our gaugings in the end. So 24 needs, definitely needs to be less, so it's 27, so let's make that, let's say 260,000, and then maybe at 27 it's come right again, let's just try that file, save, and OK that, and then just replot that again, so you see I've smoothed that out now, I might have gone slightly high, Slightly high there, or there's a little hollow there, but let's just put the gaugings back on just to see how we're looking. So back to rating again. This time put the gaugings on, but we have to go to our data and choose. At the moment, we're only plotting it, the rating at that one time. So remember, we need to go and tell it now we want to plot it with the gaugings on from 1981 onwards. And then you're okay. It'll put the other ratings on as well, it doesn't matter. So we can see where we're changing it. So ours is the blue, 1981, the blue. So we've, moved, we've smoothed it through there, which is okay. Um, you know, because we're trying to catch, I, I'm thinking we may have to move it slightly up to catch these because it needs to go through the middle here. So we want to really refine that a little bit too. But otherwise it's, you know, the bottom's probably as good as we're going to get with the scatter of gaugings that we have. So let's just plot with a further a range slightly out further now. So maybe we're going to go out to uh, 5,000, 5 meters, and I think it was, did we have 2, or was that 7? Might have been 7 meters. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now we're seeing that that was that group there. I was thinking we need to be over a bit more. But then again, we're sort of, we, we trying to get the rating through best we can through you know mainly these points and these points these are the crucial ones and as close as we can to this group here as well um, I might just go down to 4800 so stage of 4000 and that's an 8 in there Okay, so there's those two high ones there, which is they're very good through those. You've got three here, which it's catching. It is catching all three, or maybe just missing this one. This one's above the line, but then we've got one below the line as well. So my feeling is it does need to go slightly higher here, which would blend into these ones quite well. So it may just miss this one because there's, that's where that kink was. You can see where it was through there. Hmm. So let's just go back to our file again. So these are all fitting around about 2829. So there's one at 27 and one at 3 meters. There's a 3 meter point here. And there's one at 27, which would be that's 22468. 27, there's one in here. So I suggest that that one needs a slight, should be slightly less, which is one at two seven. So let's make that three fifty, uh, three and a half, yeah, three hundred fifty cumics there. To see if that brings that line slightly over.
Yes, it's almost touching that line there. We want it to go through these ones. But yes, yeah, so we're sort of splitting the difference between the two. Let's just have a look at that without gauging it off. And sorry, let's just turn off those other rating, ratings as well. To do that, then we have to go in here and just select 81 only. There we go. So that's, yeah, it's reasonable. Pretty good. But I think we still just need to do this toppy in there through those other gauging. So let's put those back on. Back to ratings. Choose our data. And we want, actually I'll just cancel that. We need to choose our gaugings here and make sure we select them here as well to put them back on and let's go slightly higher let's go 7000 back to where we were which was 250 yeah okay so yep it's probably reasonable looking looking much better now we're not catching this one, but we are catching that one. So I'd like to catch this gauging here because these are our only two high ones. So I'm thinking well, let's, let's start bringing this rating over slightly to catch these and then on up to where we're at our higher point, which is our next rating extension exercise. So to do that, let's go back to our entry. We've still got that list file sitting there to be edited. So now we're looking at this gauging here, which is up at, yeah, four, around five, just under five meters. So we've got a point at four meters on the rating, one there. The next one's at six meters, bang here. And then we go to eight meters. So there's not many points, they're getting uh, far apart here. So the four meter one, probably okay. Maybe we could come over slightly with it because we need to start moving this other point over so these need to come over slightly so at the moment 4000 is 827 which they're probably using the gauging flow where they got that value from to help with that but we want to go over slightly more so at the moment again i'm going to guess say 900 and then the next one at 6000 because we're going to come over with this one here we're going to move the line's going to start coming over and out through here somewhere so I mean this value here is there's 2000 cumex and that's 2 2 so I'm just scaling off here it's 2 4 6 8 so maybe 2800 so it's quite a bit further over Okay, so what all I'm doing now is moving these two points at four and six thousand over more to catch this gauging, really, to put more weight on this gauging. I only really just want to touch it because these ones here are holding it in the shape it is now, but I want to try and just bias it slightly toward through these two. Graph that again. Oops. Okay, so if Obviously, I've gone way too far over here with the value. My whole plate point out. So that was the one. It's probably okay here, but needs to come back to here. So where was it? Two eight six thousand. Yeah, I think it was maybe two one eight two one eight. So let's try, let's try that. File, save, and OK, and redraw. Yeah, that's better. So now I've gone too far, you see, so we're missing this gauging now. So we need to bring this back over. Probably OK down here because we need to start coming over. Otherwise, there'll be a kink in the rating. If we hug right through the middle of that gauging, we're still catching it. Still catching that, but we need to try and catch both these. We want to put sort of equal weight on both these high gauging. So let's just bring this point over slightly. Or we can add a new point in here if need be, which may be, which may be worth doing because we're, we're trying to almost do a straight line because it's so far between these two points. So maybe we'll put a point in at 5,000. 
So adding a point can be useful as well. Get that out of the way. So we're going to put a point in this time at 5,000. So 5,000. And again, we are going to 5,000 is coming through here, and that value down there is 100, uh, 1,400 QMAX. But that possibly might be okay there, so we're going to be bang on that point right there. We could try that. So that is 100, yeah, 1,400. Let's try that. Save. It's probably going to put a wee dog leg in here. Let's see. Yep, okay, there yeah, it's moved up. So it's gone a little bit too far, but we're catching this one. It's still okay here, so it just needs to be slightly more flow on that entry. That was at 5,000. Let's put another like that. That's 1450 QMX. Save that. Okay. It's a bit better. But still missing this one here, which we don't want to do. We don't want to miss that one because that is our highest gauging. So the only other way is to flatten this more with this, these top extensions now. But it's starting to look pretty good through there. Catching that, almost catching that one. Now remember there's a, we have a thing called a, I'll show you that, under here there's a rating quality, which is called a bed plot. That just shows you how far the gaugings are off the curve. But I want to do a sorted means from the highest flow down. So I want to check those higher flow gaugings and see how far off they are. So we can see our second lowest one here is 9.8. Remember we're aiming for 8%. But our top one now is at 9.7, so we've put it slightly off the curve, so it needs adjustment. We've got a lower one here that's quite a way off too, but that, that's probably never going to be able to catch that. But these other ones are reasonable. Um, but we'd like to catch I'd like to catch this top one here and make it less than or equal to 8%. Okay, we're at 9.8. That's this one here <coughs> at the moment at 7.7% uh, and that was 7.8. It's really nice to catch both these. So I think let's look at this graph this top further end there, further up, just to see where the curve is going. Let's go to say we're at 10. We're trying to get to 12 that 12 meters. Let's try that. And we're not sure of the flow yet, so we're going to just guess that here. 250. Yep, so you can see this is this is where our curve used to be, the purple. And this is where our new one is now. <clears throat> and it's just blending at the top here. But this is where this is the unknown. Okay, we don't know what's happening up here. All we've got is the gaugings here, which is pinning the bottom in nicely. And we're trying to catch these major two flood gaugings here. So whatever your highest gaugings are, try and catch them in, in any rating uh, development or editing you do. So I need to just tweak this one here so it shouldn't be going up this high. So let's just go back to our points here. And at this time we're going to see after 6,000 it goes to... can't see that... Uh, the 6,000 goes to 8,000 is the next one up. So that, that'll be this point here. There's the next point there. So I think it needs another one at 7,000. So we've got one at 6 here. It needs to be a bit less and then 7 starting to blend it in. So at 7 we were looking at 250 there. So I'm going to add another point here.
and I was going to guess 250 first, or two and a half, two, 2,500 cubic, and I wanted to make that one at 6,000 slightly less. So you can see it's just a bit of trial and error if we're not drawing the curve on a, on a graph paper or some other way and scaling off. Also helps on a big screen. Okay, got that value wrong. <laughs> Clearly wrong there. So that was my guess for that new point at 7,000. So it should be much more. It should be over here at maybe 28. Let's just fix that one. So that's the one at 7,000. I went two and a two five. Let's try two eight. Save that. Regraph that. Yep, so it's starting to come, come right now. So that's blending there. So I just think we need to get that 6,000 over this way more to catch this one. So 6,000, that's 217. Let's bring that back to maybe, let's go 14, let's try that. And regraph. No, nope, still needs to be more. We're getting close. So let's have one more go at that. So this possibly needs to be the one at 16. That would be two, 2,000. So yeah, let's make that. 2100 there. So by repeating this, you'll get used to used to this method quite quickly. Okay, it's getting a little bit better now, and we're catching these catching these gaugings now, all the way down. So what I've done is we've tidied the bottom end. We've managed to catch these major gaugings which we've got. So this is, this is you know 500 cumex here, 700 cumex. What, 14, nearly 1500, and nearly 17 or 1800, 1700 there. Important to catch, but we still need to do some edits up here. So this is where the next phase is coming in, where we need to look at how the, the velocities and the areas of these gaugings extrapolate those up to get a value that we can then produce a, a flow at these higher stages of 12 meters. So we're not sure where this goes at 12 meters, where this line's going to come up higher will stay flat like it is, but at least we've established this lower end. This, this is the first stage to establish this lower end. So just zooming in a bit closer from where we did the edits. So we've moved over to catching these gaugings now. If we go back and look at our rating quality, bed plot, and we're going to go sort it again to look at the higher, higher end, we can see now we have a minus 7.8 and a 7.8. So we've split the difference between those top two flood gauging right through the middle so we're using the best of them so it's minus 7.8 if we plot those again there we go you got minus 7.8 and plus 7.8 so we're just catching both ends so it's sort of the best we can do with with our rating at this stage so that just confirms um so if you want to check that check how your gaugings are plotting remember it's under extras rating quality bed plot if you if you leave this checked, it does from the highest flow down. If you leave it unchecked, it goes in chronological order. So it's date order from 1981 onwards. And we can see the gaugings, how they're moving around and where they deviate. There's a lot of deviations in places, but we won't worry about too much at the moment. So. And of course, we need to plot that back out to the full scale. Let's go back here to max. That's okay. The max is there, but we haven't got enough... Um, Discharge here. I think it was around about a million. Let's try that. There we go. So you can see it blends in nicely there. All we've done is move this down slightly here to catch these two gaugings. 
Um, you know, there's probably nothing wrong with the curve the way it was uh, through this one because it is the highest gauging ever. It'd be nice to check these gaugings to see whether the stage is correct, the gauging was carried out correctly. We're assuming they're both okay, so we want to use both gaugings in the rating development. So where it was wasn't bad, apart from the bottom end smoothing. But all I've done is just shown how to incorporate, you know, the best line through the the best or only measurements you may have up high. So the next stage is to, we've got to get to 12 meters, which is where the stage goes to. Clearly, it's never been measured, gauged at this height. Um, there's a lot of water through there. So whereabouts actually is that uh, flows? What sort of flows are we, can we expect at this sort of higher end? So. That's what we'll do next, and then we'll continue editing this line to see where it goes. I'm assuming it won't go this flat because it's a lot of water. It's probably going to carry on up. This blue line will carry up steeper here and hit 12. So it could be around, you know, 5,000 cumex, maybe hit 12 meters. So we may be still refining that line yet. And one other thing you can do if you wanted to, if you need to change the date and time of the rating while you're in there with the edits. Of course you've got the ability here to put a new date and time in but in this case i'm just going to stick with the, the 1981 uh, rating and you can stick with one that you think's the best for the site to it whatever sites you're on but it can be changed at this point so it would write in a brand new rating at whatever time you choose up here so i'll leave that for now cancel that okay so that's probably the end of that session anyway before we look at this higher end which will be the next stage